session. With me is Congresswoman Karen Bass, a Democrat from California. She's a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Congresswoman, this has changed the narrative uh, on Capitol Hill. There have been uh, Republicans who have been quite concerned about the allegations of collusion or involvement between the Trump campaign and Russia, uh, the, the reluctance of Donald Trump to aggressively take on Russia on the issue of hacking the election. But now this has a whole different flavor to it. Can you sense it on Capitol Hill? Well, absolutely. I think you're absolutely right. And I think it's also very important that we can't look at these incidents in isolation. He said that he was releasing his, his emails to be transparent. He could have been transparent from the very beginning. How about being transparent in January? You know, we have to remember just a few days ago, the president met with Putin. Why did he choose to have the meeting in secret? Why didn't he have note takers in there that could make public what happened? So all of this stuff to me goes together and it just seems like it keeps mushrooming and if there was ever a smoking gun it certainly seems like the emails you know are the evidence that will be needed to move forward it'll be very interesting to see what Mueller comes up with now right and the interesting and part of course is that Don, yes. Donald Trump jr. on the weekend was saying he had no idea what this meeting was for and as soon as he exactly. realized what it was he left and now of course these emails which were going to be released by the New York Times anyway so I don't know about right. this transparency but he did tweet this morning Don Trump jr. he said this was a nonsense meeting. Media and Dems are extremely invested in the Russia story. If this nonsense meeting is all they have after a year, I understand the desperation. And a little later than that, uh, mm -hmm. Ted Cruz uh, uh, told uh, our, our cameras that, you know, in Texas, nobody cares about this story. They, they don't care about this Russia <laughs> stuff. This was uh, alleged collusion and, and, and hacking into our election in 2016. Do you share the view that anybody doesn't care about this? Oh, no. Well, I mean, I can tell you it's a, a number one issue in my district. Every time I go home, people are very anxious. They're frankly afraid because this administration seems to be so unstable, so dishonest, with so many conflicts of interest and so many, uh, well, actually, I mean, it's the arrogance to say that they can essentially do whatever they want. The administration is not a family business. And you can't just carry on and think that you can do whatever you want and there's no consequences at all. This is a major issue so in my district. When you look at the timeline, we know that on June 3rd, uh, the emails started flying back and forth between Goldstone and, and Donald Trump Jr. about this meeting. Uh, Paul Manafort and Jared Kushner were invited via email. Donald Trump was in the building at the time. Uh, everything we've heard over the campaign about the closeness of this family, right. is it plausible that uh, a meeting that was set up on June June 3rd to take place on June 9th and the president heard nothing about this? Well, I don't think it's plausible at all. And the other thing that I don't think is plausible is for him to say that the meeting amounted to nothing. The email chain clearly shows what he thought he was going to. He thought he was going to meet with a Russian government official. And so saying after the fact that she didn't work for the government, I mean, you know, none of that really matters. I do believe that the emails show the intent, and I think that that's what's significant about this revelation. All right, what do, do you do about this now in Congress? And I'm not actually talking talking about uh, the Russia stuff. I'm talking about the fact that the business of Congress, for a number of reasons, seems to have, have, have ground, has ground to a halt. We're thinking we might get a new health care bill in a couple of days. But the bottom line is the normal push that one would expect on important legislation from the White House is no longer effective. So what no. happens in Congress? Well, I mean, I think that it leaves Congress in a bit of a, a disarray. And the health care bill, of course, is in the Senate, so the House isn't dealing with that. But it'll be very interesting to see what the Republican leaders put forward. So watch what we vote on this week, because I'm not sure how much business is actually going to get done, because this is such a huge cloud over the entire Capitol. All right. Uh, Congresswoman Karen Bass, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us. Karen Bass Thanks for having uh, me. is a co Congresswoman from California, and she's a member of the House Foreign Relations Committee. Committee. Rosalind uh, held a